Hi guys, uh, so we're in Kilcreden Church and Graveyard on a very, very wet and windy day, hence the, the curly hair. Um, but there's just a spooky kind of effigy here to my left that I thought I would put up. Now we can't really read the inscription, but it does say 1656 and I believe it's a Robert Tithe um, from Yall in County Cork. But the creepy part of this is all the effigies have lost their head. So I'm going to turn you around now and we're going to take a look at it. So this is the, the ruins of the church. We would have had a bell there in the top part of the church, of course, but it actually is beautiful. Ruins all the same, lovely windows. Uh, we have a tomb here as well. And it's a sacred to the memory of, mm, is it Claudia, Claudia something? The wife of John, someone as well. I don't see a date, 18 maybe there, 18 or something. Very hard to read. And unfortunately, we have no roof on this area. So, you know, anything that's here is going to get pretty weather worn. Now, we do have little rooms over the effigies. So these are the first ones, and there's no plaque here, but any information we find, we'll put it up over the video. Look at this. I mean, it is beautiful, but both have lost their heads. Now, they have tried somehow, you know, to prevent any more weather damage by putting that little kind of corrugated roof over it. Uh, but unfortunately, the Irish weather will get at the, those still. But look at this one. Now, this dates from 1656, as I said, and I believe it's a Robert Tite. Now, I could be wrong, but if I'm wrong, I'll put up the information. But we have two effigies on either side of the effigy that lies down. Both of those have lost their heads. The person lying down, I mean, these would have been beautiful. He has no legs. So just from the tops of his thighs, no legs. He has no arms. And his face is completely weathered down as well. Now we can't really get into it because uh, there's a rail going around it. Up over it then, where the information would have been about and we have this beautiful crest and uh, once again we have this corrugated roof to try and you know prevent it from getting any more weathered damage done to it there's no writing around the base of it i'm presuming somebody is buried in there but as i said with the irish weather the rain doesn't fall straight so i mean it's going to get damaged it's spilling rain again at the moment and uh, they have made this beautiful kind of a structured roof over it. We can see the raindrops there, but uh, it's going to get damaged more. And I know the story of this. They can't touch it. The historic society probably can't touch it um, until it's uh, known who holds the, the rights to it, if there's family still around or whatever. So for now, they have tried to preserve it as much as possible. It even looks like there would have been some coloring on those effigies there. I'm not sure. So this marks the final resting place of Robert Tint, a Somerset-born soldier who came to Ireland in the late 16th century and settled in Yall County Cork, where a late medieval tower house is still called Tint's Castle. In 1612, he married Elizabeth Spencer, widow of the poet Edmund Spencer, who is said to have begun work on the epic The Fairy Queen while staying in Yall with his friend Sir Walter Raleigh. Tint died in 1663 and a tomb has since been much mutilated. Both his head and those of the mourning figures who kneel on either side, presumably his wife and daughter, are missing, together with their hands and a commemorative plaque formerly beneath the family coat of arms. Similar butchery has taken place on another memorial tomb high on the facing wall, this one commemorating Edward Harris a Devon-born lawyer who became Chief Justice of Munster and was buried here together with his wife following his death in 1636. 
So guys, just a very, very short video. I would have liked to have um, maybe walked around in the, the cemetery itself, but the rain, it's just bucketing down now and the gimbal's getting wet. I'm getting wet. My other gimbal has stopped working. So I'm hoping when I get home, I can download the app and uh, get it fired up again. So I'm using Grave Visitation's gimbal. But uh, they are beautiful effigies, absolutely stunning effigies. And I just thought when I seen the photos online, how creepy that they've all lost their heads. Every single one of them, even these two here. And I suppose the explanation for that is they're such delicate structures that the first thing that will go is their heads. Maybe there's another sinister reason. Maybe somebody came in and vandalized them. Who knows? But anyway, I'm going to get out of this rain. So very, very short video. Sorry, guys, but thought it was too interesting to let go and uh, not documented here on YouTube. So for now, guys, take care. God bless. And I'll talk to you all soon.